Princess Grace created collages of pressed flowers, flowers she gathered in the hills above Monaco. Originally, she did them as gifts, but then an art agent introduced her to a gallery in Paris. Her show got into People magazine. At the time, I was working for Springs Industry, the largest manufacturer of bed linens in the world, and had been design stylist for the Bill Blass collection for about five years. Now, one of my colleagues saw that People magazine article and wondered whether the princess might be interested in having her designs inspire a line of elegant sheets and pillowcases. She was very interested. On her next trip to New York, she came to our offices to discuss the project. She loved her projects and flowers, and Springs offered her the next creative step. The project would bring revenue to Monaco and Princess Grace into my life. The appointment was made. We we're all very excited the day she came to the office. For some reason, she was brought into my office where I was to explain the process of translating her flowers into miles of fabric. Well, when she came in, she was gorgeous. Blonde. Blonde hair, blonde mink coat, blonde suit, bag, hose, shoes. It was hard to breathe. It was Princess Grace, Grace Kelly, high noon, rear window, high society, Magambo, the country girl, dial in for murder, the swan. When she sat down, she crossed her legs twice, sort of twisted around each other. I was distracted by her engagement ring, an enormous diamond. And at one point she looked down at it. She said, it's sweet, isn't it? I mentioned I'd done the Bill Blast collection, and she said, wonderful, I'll call Bill. After our chat, she visited Bill Blast, probably to check up on, a, on the company and me. When she came back, she said, you did that painting of Bill in his showroom. Would you do one of me? And that's how portraits get painted. <laughs>